This is the brand new unreleased Polestar 4, and this competes with the Tesla Model Y. The headlights on this car are very sleek and are very bright when you're driving at night. The Polestar logo in the front is matched to the paint of this car, and this also has a lot of cameras, like this one in the front, as well as this chrome trim down here. This air vent is actually functional and helps cool the tires, which are absolutely massive and have these gold valve stem caps and gold brake calipers. We have side view cameras over here, which kind of poke out of the fender. And the most interesting part, in America, every car needs to have front and rear reflectors. And most cars put them in the front bumper or the front headlights. This car has them on the front fenders. Very interesting placement. As you can see, this car has a 100 kilowatt hour battery and these crazy looking mirrors with two cameras on the side here, uh, and it has this kind of floating effect. And Polestar is the only manufacturer that makes their mirrors without these frames. They look very clean. When the car is locked, these door handles will become flush with the car to help with range. And this car is more of an SUV, which is why it has all this plastic cladding down the side. The charge port is unusually big for the size of this car. You just press it and it opens right up. This car, of course, supports fast charging. If you want to close it, you just press this button in here. The back has this very large light bar that spans across the entire rear end. These vents over here are actually fake. The Polestar logo, again, is in the body color of the car. And the most interesting part about this is that it has no rear windshield whatsoever. This part is painted to match the body color and this part is gloss black to match the roof. So to see, Polestar added cameras on the shark fin antenna. It's a very interesting thing they're doing here. To open the trunk, there's this little hidden gloss black button, which you press and the trunk will pop open. It's power operated, of course, and it's fairly wide. It's not as deep. There's a etched Polestar logo where the rear windshield would have been. This trunk is more practical than it seems though. We still have a netted storage area right here with a 12 volt power outlet. And this load floor is very interesting. So you can just lift this up and you can see these notches down here because this has an adjustable load floor. So you can just put it down like that. If you want an even more flatter surface, you can fit some more items if you make this trunk floor deeper. And of course, there's some extra storage right here. You can put maybe your charging cable. We are inside the brand new Polestar 4, and as you can see, it is very minimalistic, and every material in here is sustainably sourced, which makes everything about this car even cleaner for the environment. The steering wheel is fairly thick and has a flat bottom, so it gives you good grip when you're driving along. The steering wheel buttons also have a haptic feedback, so they're not actual buttons, but they give you a pretty good response so you know what you've touched. There's also this silver 12 o'clock marker, which helps elevate the premium feel of this interior. The stocks along the sides of the steering wheel are very small compared to normal cars, and they feel very nice to touch. There's also this small display right in front of you, which shows you important things that you need to know, like your speed, your range, your battery percentage. And then this thing right here is a camera that makes sure that you're not falling asleep when you're driving and you're using the hands-free technology that this car offers. And there's also another camera right here. To open the door on the Polestar 4, there's no button that you press. It's an actual mechanical handle. So you just pull it up. And you can open it like this. And you can see the Polestar logo on the sill plate. Uh, this makes sure that Polestar doesn't have to add another latch if they used an electronic door popper. That could fail if the battery died. If the sustainable materials didn't convince you, Polestar has also added a Harman and Kardon sound system as well as these metal door buttons, which feel very nice. The center console floats, so you have a lot of usable storage down here, and this brushed aluminum trim, which you can use to cover up your cup holders. And you have this central dial right here, which only controls your radio. Um, you can turn up the volume like this, or turn it down, turn off the music, go to your next track, your previous track. That's all that button is there to do and you also have a wireless charging pad. Uh, this, this center console armrest looks pretty big, but when you open it up, uh, you do have two USB ports in here, but you can maybe barely fit your phone in there. This car also has a heads-up display, as you can see, and there's another 
Harmon and Cardin sound system speaker. Pulsar has kind of taken an inspiration from Tesla. As you can see, these air vents are very well hidden and you can't control them by hand. You have to actually go into the screen to do this. And then this is your main screen. It is pretty big. It's a massive tablet and you can do a lot of things in here. Not as much as a Tesla, but um, you can go through your vehicle settings as you can see. Basic things like adjusting your steering wheel or opening the trunk. You have your climb control right here. You only have seat heating in this car as well as steering wheel heating. These seats are very supportive and are very sporty. They have this contrasting cloth material in the center with this light blue vegan leather as well as the Polestar gold seat belts. And if you want extra support for your thighs, there's a little latch you pull and you can extend out, especially if you're a taller person. And because the Polestar 4 does not have a rear windshield, when you flip this switch, when the car is on, the mirror will become a camera, letting you see whatever's behind you. And this camera right here is only for the interior occupants. The back of the Polestar 4 is fairly spacious. You have this netted storage area right here, and this text reminding you that your interior is sustainably sourced. You have air vents on this side, as well as in the center, with a screen for four zone climb control with heated seats. This large panoramic sunroof lets in a lot of light and gives you an open air experience and will definitely help if you're a claustrophobic person. And also in the back, you can see this fabric piece, which kind of covers up where the rear windshield would have been. There's also a, an armrest that you can just pull down. You have this little area to rest your arm on. You can put your phone over here and you can pop out this area for cup holders. And then you can also recline your seats forward and backward with these buttons, or you can do it from the screen here. The Polestar 4 does have a front trunk. You just pull this latch twice like a BMW. And come out to the front here. Just pop this open. Surrounded by plastic, and you're greeted with this very small storage area, but it's better than nothing. 